And why not? Well, you're back. You know what you're doing. You're doing mic hunting, so let's get on with it. So, yeah, I was unsure as to actually share this with you or not. What the heck, I want to be, I want to share as much as I can with you. So, um, here we go, what the hell. It's the family ashes. All sound engineers, all died working on a mix. The same mix, just that hi-hat, bloody hi-hats. Of course not, it's microphones, woohoo! This was the start of um, lockdown for me. A few weeks off, make some nice boxes for my microphones. Wait for this whole thing to blow over. Yeah, anyway. 414s, VR1 ribbons, lovely. Those are those Citronic ribbons that I pointed out. Try and get yourself a pair of them if you are so inclined. SE8 stereo pair, awesome. If you don't have a pair of Rode NT1As, I think you're daft, because they're so cheap, they're so quiet, they sound good. Get some. 47 FET. These are microphones, believe it or not. And this is an ultrasonic microphone. No, it's not. It's an ultrasonic speaker. It's the same thing, really. I'm going to use that to levitate stuff. You think I'm talking rubbish. And I am. But it's true. These are nice. Yeah, let's just let's take these out, shall we? Yeah, we'll stick them over here. So yeah, we might as well start with these. A uh, pair of pencil condensers. Loughton LA120s. So they've got a uh, high pass and low pass, which is uh, quite unique, really. So you can soften them up a bit as well as get rid of rumble. Nice omni caps for those. I didn't make that box. SE Voodoo ribbons. Beautiful ribbon sound, but with a hyped top end. Really quite unique sounding. I love those. 414s. Matched pair. Just great mics. Not got much of a sound. They're just good mics. Good old stereo pair of NT1As. They're just brilliant mics to have. They sound good. Incredibly quiet, so they're great for distant miking. You'll notice that I'm a sucker for quiet mics. You might also notice that I've got all these lovely microphones, but the audio quality on these recordings are something a little bit different. Sort of cigar box mics. Good for finger drumming, all sorts. I've had people singing into these before. Just random crazy sounds. Oh, actually. Oh, and there's another one. Used that for a recent project from a really cool artist. This features heavily as well as this microphone, believe it or not. It is a tube. It has a spring tensioned with a thing from a lamp in Ikea. I did buy it, I didn't nick it from Ikea. Hello, one, two. Testing, one, two. So yeah, anyway. A favorite 201. Amazing sound and dynamic. Oh, go on then. The gorgeous United Studio Technologies Fit 47. Woefully inadequate box. I've not got round to doing anything with this yet, so. What else have we got here? Another great microphone, Rode K2. I have had this, excuse me, maybe 15 years or something like that, I don't know. Nice valve condenser. We've got the rest of the Audix D series, three D2s in total, a D4 and D6. Great drum mics. And of course, you need. A couple of 421s kicking about with their beautiful clip design that I'm not going to go on about. That's been my solution. It works. And here we have another lockdown project that's um, pretty well finished. I present the spring hang. Mic input, line input, gain, phantom power, outputs, and yeah, it's, um, it's a spring hang. This already made it on a project actually, so it's awesome. And last but not least, by any means, my pride and joy, of course, my wife and son coming in a close second. This is the Flea Vintage 47. Do you see? Do, do you see? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. As I say, it really is my pride and joy. I was joking about my wife and child. It means a lot to me, this, for various reasons. So, that concludes all of this nonsense about microphone hunts and things like that. So we're just going to get on with it and uh, I don't know what else we'll, we'll go for next. We'll go for some synths, something like that. You could tell me what you want, I don't really know. What do you want to see? Nothing dodgy. You have to go to my OnlyFans for that.